Now this is a ball corner situation. So what we've got at the minute is we've got three surfaces coming in, three fillets, all curvature aligned, which is great. And they're, these are G2. Um, this one is G3 by the looks of things. And the question is, how do we build that corner? So if you've seen the videos, on building ball corners. I've sort of changed my technique a little bit over the years but it's basically the same thing that we're creating a planar cut across this direction. Now to in order to create that ball corner what we need to do is to build construction surfaces using trim convert which are identical as far as possible to the trimmed version. So you can see this this one for example that surface there is degree two by one or two uh, degree two sorry um, by five across wise and what we want to do is do a trim converted version of that so if I go into trim convert what we want to have on is keep originals because we want the original the trimmed version to be in the final model but the trim converted one is just for construction purposes so what we want to do is take, make sure 3D trimming is off. If you put on surface deviation, it'll show you how far you are, you are out from the original surface, the original fillet. The edge deviation will be showing how far out you are from the original edge. And obviously keep originals because we don't want to lose the original surface. So if I go into here and pick this one, it comes up and it's keeping the degree in both directions which is good and it tells me that the maximum deviation on the surface is zero and the maximum deviation on this end here is also zero so that's looking pretty hopeful we've got to keep originals on so we should have two surfaces now so if I go and pick surface there you'll see up there we've got two picked surfaces now what we don't want to do is change that trim converted surface we don't want to change it it's got to be exactly the same as the original and um, so what we should find because of the accuracy of that result is that the deviation or the um, continuity here if we compared the trim converted version and the original we should find that even if we go to G2 we should find them the same if they're not the same we don't want to change the trim converted version if they're not the same then what you must do is delete the trim converted version and try again with a higher degree along the surface. Now I don't know whether any of these will fail in that sense but um, hopefully they will or maybe I'll deliberately make this fail. So this one here has got higher degree along this way so if we went into trim convert supposing we did this so this looks good and it says maximum zero there maximum zero along this edge now if I deliberately change the degree so hopefully it will fail uh, right so now we've got some maximums that aren't zero so supposing we would ended up with this now so we've got our construction surface but we know it's not accurate but if I go into surface continuity here and look at that you can see that's massively different what you don't want to do is is change that trim converted surface there's no point in doing that none whatsoever so we want to go and delete that and try again so we'll go back into surface edit and do trim convert and I mean we know that this is actually working fine if it wasn't supposing that says maximum 0.1 or something um, then what you can do is increase the degree for a start because this is a construction surface it doesn't actually matter if we went for a higher degree we could actually you can actually type in higher degrees so I could go for degree 9 it doesn't matter because all we're interested in is making sure that the condition at this end is as near identical to the original fillet as possible that's all we're after we're not interested in whether this is an A-class result or anything we can even increase the spans so if you really find that you know the maximum's not quite zero or close to zero it, it needs to be at least I mean if you look at the construction options here we've got a maximum gap of 0 0.001 so you want at this end 
the difference to be less than 0 0.001 if there is any difference. Now if we go into, obviously I've increased the spans, I've increased the degrees, so this should be absolutely pretty much 100% accurate. So that's the that's the solution is never to, never never change that trim converted surface. Trying to change that is not going to help you. Um, you just end up with two surfaces that you're trying to put a corner into, and then it won't make any sense at all. Um, so let's just have a look at this low one. I think this won't be a problem either. That if we just pick on that one there, and it's you notice it's updated the degree to suit. Now this one doesn't quite meet the standards and um, so it's 0 0.002 so it's outside of our normal tolerance so we would definitely need to do something about that so let's try increasing the degree along the surface I don't think that's going to have any effect to be honest because it's, it's around this way what we could do is actually increase the degree in this direction and you, could, you see the slider is limited to 7 but you can actually type in um, higher numbers here so if I put in 9 or I can do ALT if you press the ALT button and just use the slider there you can actually go to other other degrees I mean crazy crazy numbers um, but we don't need it that high but let's put in 9 because that was okay and then although that's a higher degree than you than ideally you'd want you'd want degree 7 um, to match this ideally but if you start off with that as 9 when you put your corner in um, you don't actually have to make that um, surface degree 9 eventually let's have a look at the let's evaluate this this should be 100% so that's fine what we could do is have a look at what happens so I'm going to press alt and D here and just drop that degree to 8 so as soon as I drop it to 8 it's lost the continuity so it looks like it has to be 9 to in order to do that so the important lesson here really is when you do the trim convert to create the construction surface never ever change the trim convert surface if it's not accurate delete it and do another trim convert with a higher degree either along the surface or across the surface or both and increase the spans if you have to um, ideally you want the same degree as the original in this direction but if you can't get that don't worry about it just increase the degree it gives you that construction condition that you can then build a surface from in the corner